It's the hash. The hash. The hash is brought to you by Green Rush Consulting, CBCB, Berkeley's Community Dispensary, and the Natural Cannabis Company brand dispensaries, Organican, Oakland Organics, and Mendo Can. Welcome to The Hash. I'm David Downs, and today we're talking bongs. You know bongs, cheap plastic water pipes. Chances are you last saw one in high school when your mom confiscated yours. Well now, this once illegal paraphernalia has become a billion dollar business. And I'm not talking about selling high volumes of the $15 plastic tubes from your local head shop. We're talking twenty to $25,000 per bong. These pipes are now much more than a device to get you super stoned. They're highly stylized, and they require hundreds of man hours to handcraft. Thanks to a weird quirk of legalization, glass pipes have become a high-end art market unto themselves, complete with gallery openings to rival mainstream artists. Welcome to the world of functional glass art. This spring, over at The Cave, a glass gallery in San Mateo, California, almost 100 collectors showed up at an opening of The Natural Selection, a show by the glass artist Elbow. Dreadlocked and pierced stoners talk like diehard art aficionados, and beefy personal security guards watch money change hands. I got a chance to corner Chuck, the owner of the cave. We got pendants going from 550 all the way up to uh, collaborations uh, between Elbow, Banjo, Joe Peters, uh, going for upwards of 20, 25 thousand dollars. But we sold uh, the Nyasasaurus over 10 grand. We did 10 free pendants to the first 10 people in line. Um, and people were out here since Thursday night. We got Saturday tacos. night. It's Saturday night. They've been here for 48 hours. I also met Pat from Oakland, a collector and a critic. How long you been collecting pieces? Oh God, 11 years. Uh, the most expensive pipe I own is probably three or four thousand dollars. What's going on in 2015 with functional glass art? It seems like a historic time. Uh, I think it's kind of an. Uh, a moment where either pipes are going to be really opened up into the fine art market or they're really going to stay here and level off as a counterculture market. The Florida show Art Basel was going on. There was so much mixed media down there uh, displayed with pipes, really well-known artists displaying their work next to pipe makers. Um, I think that more and more it's just going to be recognition for beautiful art as what it is. I started at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago. I didn't finish. I wound up. I need to. I need some math credits. And then my. What was your emphasis? Uh, I was a color theory major. Uh, I did painting. There's more and more artists kind of like pushing uh, fine art uh, questions. I think that Paco making urinals as like a big ode to Marcel Duchamp as his "What is art?" kind of thing is super awesome. You can make a pipe that speaks words and volumes about all kinds of things, and I think that's super cool. There's more than just aesthetics driving up the price of glass. It's become a form of banking. See, the legal weed industry, let alone the illicit one, can't just put their money in a bank, like a normal business. Banks refuse service, cops seize assets, and they use bank records to convict you and the bank of money laundering. But as billions in legal weed profits mount, the cash has to flow somewhere. Private vaults are getting pretty popular in legal Colorado, and so is the national glass art scene. It works like this. You make a bunch of money growing and selling weed. You take that cash and you use it to buy a $15,000 glass piece. The bong appreciates in value on your shelf, and when you want to or you need to sell it, you make a profit and get a legitimate receipt for the tax man. I spoke to one collector buying a foot-tall, translucent Tyrannosaurus Rex covered in dripping honey and bees. This young guy was decked out in a hat, jacket, t-shirt, jeans, and jewelry, all in the theme of bees and gold. I think it's like seven different honeycomb chips, uh, enough oil drips off of there from Joe P to, to cover any dino that's out there right now. A, a lot of fume work on it. The, the teeth and the jawline are exceptional, more realistic than anything I've seen yet. It's bees and honey for the money. <laughs> My concentrate company name is Brutal Bee, so we kind of stick with the bees, with the bee and the honey theme for sure. How much does a piece like that cost? A 2011 Honda Civic. What makes you buy high-end glass? Keeps the it keeps the circle going, man. It's what it's all about. We make money off of concentrates. We spend it on glass. It just keeps the industry moving. It also is a way for me to protect my investments. You know, rather than having money that sits in a bank that might disappear or might not make any money, a lot of this art appreciates just like something you put on your wall. 
So if you can understand, you know, what it's worth and how to use it, then, you know, you can keep it good and keep it nice and it ends up being worth more in the long run. Nice pipes aren't cheap, cheap pipes aren't nice. In 2015, the boring ancient water bong has become a modern lesson on the theory of currency. Currency is anything that can store value over time. Hashmakers are turning plants into money, exchanging money for art, then art for more money, which they can then use to deposit or buy more plants. And thus, the bongs keep bubbling. You can check out photos of the beautiful, ridiculously high-end glass from The Natural Selection at thehash.org. I'm David Downs. The Hash is sponsored in part by Craft Medical Cannabis Delivery, available at bayareacraft.org. It seems like every day a new startup promises to bring pot to your door. What's missing is an assurance that the flowers are high quality, lab tested, and free of impurities. The award-winning Citizens Research Alliance for Therapeutics was founded by some of the Bay Area's original dispensary operators. The three-year-old Berkeley-based Kraft delivers exclusively world-class medical cannabis. Kraft is a certified clean green collective, meaning independent third-party inspectors make sure Kraft cannabis is free of pesticides and pathogens. Vote with your dollars for clean, consistent, high-quality cannabis products. Schedule a craft delivery of their 2014 High Times Cup-winning Tahoe Chem or Crafts Chem Scout at bayareacraft.org today.